talk about Nestle, you bring it up, and uh, as you mentioned, it's the world's leading nutrition, wealth, and wellness company. Yeah, it's well, enormous, and it has all these different things, and of course, coffee is only one part of it. It was founded in 1866 by a Swiss pharmacist, Henri Nestle, and it has a market cap here of 264 point nine billion US dollars no enormous. PE dividend yield of 2.3 percent so I mean it's in transition under a new CEO and he's trying to kind of move out of certain areas and into others Gary do you want to give us a review you can see the share chart has appeared while we've been talking and you can see it was a bit of a dead beat for a while but it seems to have woken up it ran yeah. hard <laughs> in the latter part of 2016 mm. a little bit of a pull back uh, in this period yeah you, you did uh, actually one, one of the reasons for that that little pull back was that Fitch actually downgraded their credit rating to AA uh, negative but uh, with a stable outlook but part of that was to do with the, the CEO's new strategy for the company which has been very much to instead of I, I suppose what a lot of mega cap companies like uh, Coca-Cola would do is really focus on cost cutting not worry too much about the top line but trying to rip all the costs out of the business get as efficient as possible to try and boost up earnings um, you know the, 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 the incoming CEO he really been been focused on, on trying to grow top line and 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 profit at the same time and he, kind of been promising to markets that you know that sort of low single digit growth uh, figure is going to improve it hasn't in the last two years which has got people a little bit worried but but certainly if you look at kind of the just the market share the company's been taking I mean it, it's it's been impressive they they've you know pricing pricing uh, points have actually been dropping but their volumes have been increasing so while they haven't seen an absolute increase in, in, in revenue they've been taking market share which is very very positive for a company of its size you mentioned Nespresso. There yeah. is, of course, in uh, that upper LSM grouping, yep. the Nespresso trend endorsed by George Clooney. Yep, and that Nespresso global powerhouse has about the most efficient and most profitable store per sales of any business. The only people that beat them, apparently, are Apple and one or two other kind of specialist retailers. So you can just imagine the money throughput from those stores where people go in to buy pods. It's <laughs> through the roof. That's mm. great. I think the Schneider, Mark Schneider, the new CEO, came from the healthcare industry. So he has looked at a couple of very competitive, rather overtraded parts of the business like cereals, confectionery and wondered whether those shouldn't be spun off. So far nothing, but the market kind of gave him the benefit of the doubt in 2016, 2017 so far because it anticipated, as Gary Some said, value unlock, value unlock, cost cutting and potentially revenue rise. But I've seen a few people just say maybe, maybe the market got a little bit ahead of itself and that's why there was a bit of a pullback recently. Mm. Would this be a buying opportunity for Nestle in your opinion? Oh, it still looks pretty, pretty frothy to me. So, I, I mean, you know, if you look at a, a one year forward P, it's still trading at, at 22 times uh, earnings, which is, you know, if you compare it to its peer group is it, 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 it does trade at a premium but it, again I think it does deserve the premium because it's uh, it, it's really I think got the the, the size advantage in, in, in the sector as well um, again you, you know the, the new strategy yes I mean he has been unbundling a couple of things there's, there's been a few shifts but it but it really you know has yet to yet to prove itself I mean one one I suppose encouraging thing is that uh, you know of uh, I think it's about uh, a third of uh, profits are now coming from products that are no older than three years so that's uh, mm -hmm. I mean that's just showing that there is actually a lot of innovation going uh, on inside this company which you know as I suppose you know general uh, economic times turn um, it will benefit versus some of its competitors Paul, got do you own this one for clients in international bit. portfolios we do a bit we had recently gotten a little bit tired of it because we were a little bit worried that it wasn't really doing much for us and we thought it was a little bit big and a little bit too frothy. 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 Not so much the value. <laughs> <Excuse me, laughs> <analogy laughs> ironically, the to the extent that we were selling them off in order to take profits and move into mm -hmm. other stocks in the biopharma area and so on, oddly enough, it was rising quite sharply. So it's almost as the at the point where you get bored is when things start to move. In other words, another way to put that is you got the timing wrong. Well, let's just see though, because why would you mm. own a stock like this in a portfolio? Because you suspected that something exciting could happen and there'd be some sort of transformative mm. shift. 
Coffee, I think, is one of them. The other one is bottled water. They're an mm. enormous player. They own Evian, Perrier, San Pellegrino, all sorts of very top-end brands. And, in and the we've water had recent discussions over mm. water scarcity and the fact that this is going to become a key and investment. Public theme investment going in water delivery systems is low, so you know you're going to have to buy mm. your own bottled water. Seems to be pretty much the way things are going. Mm. Are we going hot or not on Nestle? Mm. I'm interested to know what. No, no, it's but yeah, very, very don't difficult call. Yeah, I'm not feeling pressure. I'd like, yeah, no. Not not hot. Not cold. hot. No, I'm gonna, yeah, not not hot on Nestle. I think again, water. Yeah, water is an important component to business. Only about eight percent of revenue at the moment, and I mean that that could expand. Um, also, the, the the management has guided that there are going to be no mega deals. It's going to be very mm -hmm. much a, a, por a portfolio shift. So, so if you're looking for that catalyst of, of the thing that's going to boost this to the next that's level, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I think soon. you're going to have earnings are going to be under pressure for the next two three years as it as it sort of implements this longer term strategy. I think it's a good quality company, but I think you might you know as Maybe people get bored and exit. You might get a slightly better opportunity in the entrance. Paul, after that call, I think that's call, fine. I would say yes. It wouldn't be top of my list anymore, so I'm going to go not hot at the current valuations.